with one voice, assembled sages past and present declare, all may pray as one on this night of repentance. Let none be excluded from our community of prayer. With one voice, God and congregation proclaim, all may pray as one on this day of return. Let us find a place in this sacred assembly.
Give us the strength to keep our promises, the sacred vows of partners in marriage, the promises of love and care between parents and children, the promises of duty between citizens and country, the oaths of doctors, the sacred trust of teachers. Give us the strength to keep our promises to our friends, and our colleagues, to those who live with us and depend on us, to those who work for us and to those for whom we work, to those who pray with us and those for whom we pray, to those we love and those we serve. Give us the courage to keep our promises to ourselves, to one another, and to future generations. All shall be forgiven, the entire community of Israel, and the stranger who lives in their midst, for all have gone astray in error. Moses prayed to God, as you have been faithful to this people ever since Egypt, please forgive their failings now, in keeping with your boundless love. My Steal into the prayer book like a stowaway. Fasting without a bite, travel for days till you reach the shore. Lie folded up in your hideout, do not stir through the whole journey. And if, with the right word, you get into the proper place, and the light up the little prayer book with Jewish joy, that will be it. The little prayer book will have to carry you through all eternities, and they will doven you too, will say you. of dawn. Yours are the spreading wings of light, the deepening shadows of darkness, and ever-changing drama. In the human heart, too, the struggle between darkness and light unfolds. From sunlit heights of generosity, the human heart sinks 
to the gloomy depths of selfishness. Although we fall, you give us strength to rise again. You call on those who hurt through word or deed to break free from wrongdoing and return to you. All who hear your call for goodness are embraced. All who reject emptiness and evil find acceptance from you. We come into your presence this night of Kol Nidre, aware that our shortcomings and weaknesses are many. Yet, encouraged by your promise of forgiveness, we choose freely the path of repentance, restoring wholeness to our lives and holiness to the world. Baruch Adonai, Amari Aravi. Blessed are you, Adonai, creator of twilight and dusk.
Ta et Adonai Eloeha. For every exile who walked out of Egypt between walls of water, for everyone who remembered the feel of sea bottom underfoot, the sibilant roar of water rearing on the right, on the left, someone forgot. Someone scanning the dry horizon for a well, or already mourning the musky smell of autumn in her father's fig trees, forgot the hosannas, and by the bitter waves of Marah, forgot the flash of dancing feet, the shimmer of timbrels. For every proselyte at Sinai, someone never heard of horns at all. Someone turned back from the mountain to bank the fire, feed the baby, steal a secret moment with another. Revelation begins in attention. While the elders tremble before the word of God flowing down, the scorched north flank of Sinai, someone rising from a last long embrace, gazed into the rapt face of the beloved and saw that it was good. <laughs> multiply and danger threatens, when sickness comes and death confronts us, it is God's blessing of shalom that sustains us and upholds us, lightening our burden, dispelling our worry, restoring our strength, renewing our hope, reviving us. Ha 
Adonai Eloheinu Hashkiveinu Eshalom Hashkiveinu Adonai Eloheinu Hashkiveinu tonight is an inward journey that takes you deep within yourself, pierces you to the core. You stand on the holy summit of this tefillah and see before you the land within, a weary soul yearning to be forgiven, longing to be loved. Oh, 
On this night of atonement, grant us, God, a sense of your presence as we call upon your name. Speak your hopeful message to each yearning heart and answer the worthy petition of each strengthening, strengthening soul. Purify and strengthen our noble strivings and cleanse us of all our unworthy desires. Join us together in fellowship and in love and grant us the joy which comes from enriching other lives. Help us to be loyal to the heritage we share. Draw us near to Torah in wisdom and in faith. Strengthen our devotion to our people everywhere. Keep alive our faith and righteousness and truth. Bless us with hopes to uplift our daily lives and keep steadfast our courage and resolve at all times. On this night of atonement, help us, God, to be worthy of your presence as we call upon your name. 
generations to you we are grateful forever rock and protector of our lives your saving power endures from age to age we thank you and tell the tale of your praise your power in our lives your caring for our souls the constant miracle of your kindness morning noon and night we call you goodness for your compassion never ends we call you mercy for your love has no limit we call you hope now and for all time and for all these gifts, God of majesty, may your name come to be blessed and praised, our gratitude, a daily offering until the end of time. Inscribe your covenant partners for a life of goodness. And may all life resound with gratitude and faith and praise of your name. God, you free us and strengthen us. Oh,
Hello, my name is Minna Boba, and I've been asked by Port Jewish Center to repeat my appeal from two years ago. I've been a member of Port for more than 35 years, and I don't live in Port, and I never did live in Port. But it all started more than 35 years ago. I was at the beach explaining to my friend why I couldn't find a temple to have my son's bar mitzvah. I had telephoned my local reform temple and gathered the information to sign him up. When the lady on the other end questioned my last name and politely asked me if I had called the right place, I told her my husband was Catholic and I was Jewish. She gave me a lot of information and then informed me that my husband could not take part in the ceremony. I angrily replied that if my husband wasn't good enough to be included in the service, then his money wasn't good enough, and I slammed the phone down, which made me feel better. But many times in life, as things happen, one door closes and another one opens. There was a gentleman standing beside us who overheard my little tale of woe and told me his temple had services that my family could attend and be welcome. He invited us to PJC's Rosh Hashanah services at the Methodist Church and stated we would not have to pay for the ticket. That was unusual in those days. Many of you have also been introduced to the PJC in this way. Back to my story. When we did come to the service, we were pleasantly surprised by the warm greeting we received. Even my blonde, blue-eyed husband was welcome. We subsequently attended several services at Port Jewish Center in Manorhaven and felt so accepted and comfortable that we knew it was for us, and so we joined. My mother, who was usually with us, always enjoyed coming to services and joyously remarked, we will receive a warmer welcome at Port Jewish Center than we got from our relatives. In fact, I celebrated my mother's 90th birthday here at Port Jewish, and I intend to celebrate mine. You might rightly ask, so why after more than 35 years and moving even further away does this old lady still drive more than 25 minutes to Port Jewish Center? And why am I doing this appeal? The reason is because PJC is more than a religious institution. It is a unique, small, intimate gathering of warm, caring individuals where everyone knows your name. And with my husband gone and my son happily married, I truly appreciate the genial welcome and warm, friendly smiles I receive from our caring members, especially now in this disturbing, distrusting, and divisive world of today, I find that it is more appreciated. There were no envelopes given as you tuned into Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur services on Zoom, where you watched our wonderful service, our amazing rabbi, and heard the beautiful voices of the cantor and choir. So let us show our appreciation for the hard work that went into these services by giving an additional donation. There is another thing that I want to point out. Port Jeff Jewish Center is very helpful to those in need of assistance. We sponsor many community projects, such as donating food, planting, and inspiring others to plant vegetables for the needy, holding blood drives, and having other activities which help the less fortunate. Nowadays, with the pandemic, and so many out of work and enduring unimaginable hardships, there is even a greater reason to respond to this appeal. Please show your support for the many worthwhile programs sponsored by us and contribute to Port Jewish Center. Unfortunately, Due to the pandemic, PJC was unable to hold its major fundraising gala. Therefore, the need for financial assistance is truly necessary. 
the dystopian and chaotic world of today makes it even more important to continue and maintain our wonderful Port Jewish Center. Please contribute as much as you can by either check or charge to Port Jewish Center. I believe I have given you many reasons to donate, and I hope you do. Thank you for listening. Shana Tova. Please rise. Of these things we are guilty. We betray, we steal, we scorn. We act perversely, we are cruel. We scheme, we are violent, we slander, we devise evil. We lie, we ridicule, we disobey. We abuse, we defy, we corrupt, we commit crimes. We are hostile, we are stubborn, we are immoral, we kill, we spoil, we go astray, we lead others astray. Ashamnu. When I was young and learned the alphabet, life was open to me. A was full of aspiration, B was for beauty, C for confidence, and D for dreams, and so on through the list. No fewer than 26 opportunities, 26 possibilities. And yet I fear that with the passage of time, I've squandered them, creating instead A's of apathy, B's of brusqueness, C's of coarseness, Help me then to return to that innocence. Let the letters be letters once again, and let them rise to the heavens and form into the words that you know I wish to say. generations. May our prayers reach your presence. And when we turn to you, do not be indifferent. Adonai, we were arrogant and stubborn, claiming to be blameless and free of sin. In truth, we have stumbled and strayed. We have done wrong.
When men were children, they thought of God as a father. When men were slaves, they thought of God as a master. When men were subjects, they thought of God as a king. But I am a woman, not a slave, not a subject, not a child who longs for God as father or mother. I might imagine God as teacher or friend, but those images like king, master, father or mother are too small for me now. God is the force of motion and light in the universe. God is the strength of life on our planet. God is the power moving us to do good. God is the source of love springing in us. God is far beyond what we can comprehend.
אלוקינו, שמא קולנו, אבינו מלכנו, חטאנו לפניך. אבינו מלכנו,
This holy night concludes with memory. Our last thoughts always are of those we have lost. We miss them especially tonight, yearning for their presence at our side. The service we have shared was one of theirs. They spoke and sang the ancient words. They prayed, repented, and yearned for better lives as we have done. Flawed in their deeds, imperfect in their faith, they still drew strength from their tradition as we seek fortitude in ours. What was good and beautiful in their lives once gave us joy and now inspires us to reach higher. The knowledge that they loved us deeply brings comfort to our hearts. So we light candles of remembrance and gratitude and we speak this timeless truth. Zichronam Levracha, their memory is a blessing now and forever. We pray that their goodness will live on in our lives, planting seeds of kindness and hope for generations to come. We continue with the Mourner's Kaddish together. Yid Kadal v'yid Kadash Shemei Rabbah v'alma divra chirute v'amlich malchute v'chayichon v'yomachon v'chayi d'chol b'yit Yisrael v'agala v'zman kari v'imru amen Yehi Shemei Rabbah mevarach le'olam omei almaya yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit roman v'yit nasei Viet Hadar, Viet Hale, Viet Halal, Shemede Kudsha, Brihu. La Ela, Ula Ela, Mikol Berhata, Bashirata. Tushbehata, Venechamata, the Amiran, the Alma, the Imru, Amen. Yeheshla Maraba Min Shemaya. The Chaim Alenu, the Alkol Yisrael, the Imru, Amen. O say Shalom, Bem Romav. Hu Yaa say Shalom. Alenu ve al kol Yisrael ve al kol Yoshvei Tevel ve Imru, Amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn, and comfort to all who are bereaved. And together we say, Amen.
return to the land of your soul. Return again. Return again. Return to the land of your soul.